Hey, Cook Hollis, today we're making fried catfish nuggets. We've got some catfish that's been cut into smaller pieces that we're going to season really well and fry in a cast iron skillet. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We have yellow cornmeal, garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper. We have thyme, oregano, pink sea salt. We have some vegetable oil and we have some catfish nuggets. Skillet over medium high heat. And I'm gonna add some vegetable oil up the size of the pan to one third. While we're waiting for that oil to heat up, we're going to mix up the fish coating. We have some yellow cornmeal in this bowl and we're gonna add in some paprika. We're gonna toss in the oregano we're gonna get our garlic powder in there. In goes the onion powder. The black pepper goes in. The cayenne pepper. Now the pink sea salt. Of course you can use regular salt. I just really like the flavor of this salt. This doesn't make a difference to some people. It's a very subtle difference, but one I like. So that goes in. I have my tiny whisk and I'm just going to whisk all of this together. I won't need all of this for our fish, so I'll have some for next time. I'll take out what I need, toss the rest in a zip top bag, then into the pantry. Okay guys, we have our fish coating, that yellow cornmeal, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, oregano, and thyme. Now I'm gonna set this coating aside and I'm gonna bring a little attention to the star of the show, the catfish nuggets. See all that liquid here? I'm gonna go over to the sink and pour it off. Now I'm just gonna lightly season the fish with salt. There's salt in the coating already, but I actually wanna get a touch of salt on the actual fish. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. Now I have another bowl here. I'm gonna grab some of that coating and put it into this bowl. I don't know how much I'm going to need yet, but if I need more, I'll add it. I also wanna check the temperature of the oil in a cast iron skillet. I wanna start frying the fish at around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, this is a great time to get the cooling rack prepared for when I remove the cooked fish from the skillet. And remember when you're frying, always put the food in away from you. That way if it splashes, it splashes that way. Getting burnt with hot oil is no joke, son. But, you know, it's your kitchen. Do what you want. <laughs> Cooking takes a layer of bravery. There's not a cook alive who has not burnt or cut him or herself. Yo, for this and other fine recipes, go to chefkendra.weebly.com. That's chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Guys, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Our first batch of catfish nuggets coming out of the hot oil. And you want you to sprinkle just a touch more salt on top. But taste it first. Uh, 
This is perfect. Look at that. I love it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And that's all for this time. And I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra's out. Peace.